Hey, welcome. In this series of videos, we're going to be uh, going over how to set up our own component library. So I've seen a question asked quite a bit from people that are newer to the field or exploring their options for a career change or things like that, where they're like, what is it like? Uh, what is your day to day uh, like? And while no day is exactly the same, a lot of the work that I've done uh, since becoming a software developer has been refactoring old code, making it more efficient, looking at code that was written a few years ago, potentially, um, and making it better or adding new functionality or potentially new features. So while sometimes uh, I, I do write brand new code from scratch, a lot of times what I'm doing is refactoring old code uh, to bring it up to our current standard. And so one way to uh, make that process less painful is by making sure that you've got a functioning component library. And so uh, we'll go over how to do that. In this video, we're specifically gonna focus on a layout component, which is going to wrap uh, each of our pages. So I've got this project from, uh, this was actually from a couple of years ago. I'll, I'll put a link to the repo um, in the description below. Um, my next park. And so we've got uh, this little landing page, and then it's pulling in um, information from the National Park Service API. And then when you click on, you know, you can choose a park, and then I click on Let's Go, and it'll load that information um, dynamically, uh, uh, information about the park and getting there, etc. So, uh, I should back up a step. I've got this... Um, running with just the uh, yarn dev. Uh, this is the next project if you're not familiar with that. Um, and so from here, uh, should say that this project is set up with Tailwind. Um, and while I'll be going over some strategies for how to incorporate Tailwind into our component library here, you can do this, apply these same principles with uh, whatever sort of design system you've got, whether you're using uh, another library like material, or you're just kind of rolling your own with standard HTML elements, uh, any of that will work. So if we look at our main, this is our home page. Uh, we can see up top, we've got this head. We've got a main with a nav in it, which, uh, that's problematic, not semantically correct, uh, correctly written. Um, and then inside of our parks, we're dynamically generating our park pages, our park detail pages. And you can see that we've got this head and this nav. And so presumably we want this to appear on every single page, but right now we're repeating ourselves uh, by essentially copying and pasting it to each page. Now with uh, a, a project with just a home page and a series of, like a template page, not really that huge of an issue, but when this project starts to grow, that's a lot of copying and pasting. So what we can do instead is on the same level as our uh, pages directory, we can create a new folder called components. And then inside there, so you might see like, you know, maybe you'll have uh, some subdirectories within components, like you might have common components or things like that. I'm just going to put everything inside of this components directory. So we'll create a new file and we'll say layout.js. So what I would do if we were using like maybe styled components or CSS modules or something like that is I would create like this layout uh, directory with the layout component and then the styles in uh, like a separate file probably, but we can just do it like this where it's just the file without its own um, directory here. And so we can import react from react. We can say const layout and we're gonna accept some props here, but we'll just uh, render it like this or we'll write it like this for now. And we can return, we can just copy what we had here. So in the nav, let's grab this. So we have the nav, we're gonna want the head in here as well. And we'll rearrange some of this stuff. Um, so I'm getting an error because of the adjacent JSX, that's fine. We'll fix that in a second. 
and then for the so we got uh, we got it out of the home page and then in our um, template page the only difference is this uh, dynamically generated park data dot full name so I'm gonna just grab this just as a reference I'm gonna delete our nav I'm gonna delete the head and so if I save this park and save this home page and we flip back we see that that top nav is now gone which uh, makes sense so now we're going to find a way to um, bring it back so that we only have uh, so that we can use this um, common layout component so inside layout i mentioned i was going to just grab this as a reference i'll comment it out so essentially we want uh we want two things. We want to be able to accept uh, children. So just a node, uh, essentially like any sort of content, like we want it to wrap and, and uh, have the navigation at the top and then just have this main or, or whatever content is, um, is inside. Uh, we're going to want to dynamically generate this uh, title so we can accept that as a prop as well so we can destructure out children and title and so for our title this will no longer be a string but rather a reference to the title prop that we're passing in from there we can uh, so there's a, a couple ways of going about this. Let me take a look at what we have so far. So we have our main with a, a class of container and then um, margin horizontal of auto. So it centers it. And then let me see in this park, we have the same thing. So here's what we can do is in our layout, we can grab that main tag as well. And we can give it this class name. And we can put our children inside of the uh, inside of this main tag. So what's happening here is, in the interest of having a consistent layout where um, we're centering and uh, having this container uh, like max width, we're ensuring that all of our pages uh, have the same layout, have the same look and feel. So it would be weird if you had like one page that was like 1200 pixels wide and then another one that was like 600 and uh you or you have to keep track of all that with these different classes but now that we have that in our layout component it's all uh, all of the thinking is done for us so from here we can just wrap this in a fragment and all of our errors magically go away and let's save this so here, what we've got, we've got our, uh, we've got our head, which is going to give us the the page title. We've got our navigation, which is going to appear on every page and link back to the home page for now. But you could of course include other links, and then we've got our main tag, which is going to be the wrapper for the the main content of the uh, of the given page. And the children are is basically everything that's just inside of this layout component. So how do we incorporate this now? If we go to our index, we can see main and we have this div here. So what we can do instead, we could probably get rid of this extra div and then this main, uh, actually let's, uh, from the header here, let's cut this. We can delete uh, the div and the main, the main we've already accounted for in our layout component. We're going to uh, we're going to need to import our layout so we can delete this and we can import layout from. Did we export it? Let's see. No, we didn't. So export default layout and save. And then here we can import layout from uh, dot dot slash components slash layout. And then from here, so now we've got our layout imported. Simply by pasting this in, this is essentially our children prop. So you don't have to write like 
children equals whatever um, by uh, anything that's going to be within the uh, the JSX of layout opening and closing is going to be uh, passed in as the children. And then the other one that we needed was the title. And so our title, uh, we had my next park. And actually, let's do that as our default. So we'll do my next park. And then the page title. So it'll show my next park and then whatever this page is um, by default for, for every page. So for this one, we can say the title is home. And let's save all of this. We'll come back to the, um, the template in a second. Let's see, link is not defined. This, uh, let's see, uh, I think we removed this from uh, a spot where we shouldn't have. Inside here, oh, okay. So uh, I grabbed uh, the link reference here um, in the home page and moved it over to or I just deleted it when we shouldn't have. So let's grab this link. And that error should be hopefully fixed. Head is not defined, forgot to import that as well. Okay. So we have our head, we have our link, everything else should be defined hopefully at this point. Grabbing the link and putting this in layout as well. Okay, so we have our head, we have our link. Cool, so now we refresh the page and we can see that my next park is not centered, but it, it is there. And you can see in the bottom, it says localhost 3000. If we go to Acadia, we can see that it's not showing up because we have not wrapped our template component in the uh, with the layout component. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can fix the centering issue as well. So inside of our park, all we need to do is the same thing that we did with uh, our home page. So we can grab everything inside of main. We can grab our layout component. And it uh, VS Code just automatically imp imported that for me. And I just paste here and save. And we should see the, uh, the, the common nav now, which we do. And then let's go ahead and center this up. So inside of our layout component, uh, what we can do is um, we need to get rid of this container because that's setting uh, a max width for us. And we can just do like width screen for this nav. So it'll take up the full width of the screen now. So if we flip back over, now we can see that it's taking up the full uh, width. If we click on my next park. Brings us back to the home page and you can see that it's still there. Cool. So we got our first component in our component library. Uh, we checked out how to set up a layout component. So the the basic idea behind a layout component is that it'll accept children it'll give you a consistent layout by wrapping uh, your like child content in this um, main tag. This is not necessarily a requirement for all layout components, but this is one way of doing it to ensure that you've got consistent uh, layout between your pages. We also took a look at uh, dynamically updating the head. And then we've got this common link. Uh, generally, you'll have some more links in your navigation, but uh, you can just add them here in this nav. One thing I did forget to do is in uh, the, um, I commented out my next park and then the park data dot full name. So I'm going to grab this and we're going to put this back in our um, park template. So for the layout, we need to pass in a title and that title will be park data dot full name. 
And so now that page has a title, we should be able to see it in the tab. So you can see my next park slash home, my next park slash uh, Acadia National Forest or park, excuse me. Cool. So that's the layout component. In the next video, we can go ahead and uh, create a common link component. So we can see that in our layout uh, with next, you have this, you have to pass in the um, link component itself and then uh, an anchor tag with some styling uh, according to whatever we want to style it with. Uh, and this looks like a great candidate to consolidate into a common component so that we don't have to always um, write this extra code. So uh, that video will be up next. Thanks for watching this one. If you got any questions, as always, leave them in the comments. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.